All right, here we go. I'm ready to tell you about our show. What kind of show are we having? Do you guys know? Magic, probably my favorite magic. Our entertainment today is magician Jeff Evans. Have you guys heard of him? You've seen him before? He is amazing. His latest project has been to saw a person in half, an illusion which he has been practicing with his brother. We are sorry to say that Jeff no longer has a brother. He does, however, have two new half-brothers. Let's welcome Jeff and his amazing magic show with a big round of applesauce or applause. Hey. Good evening, Ladies everyone. And gentlemen, Keep it going. Please welcome the amazing magic of Jeff Evans. This is going to be an interactive show. So if you have anything in your hands, like uh, drinks or cards, put them down for a second. And even grown-ups in the back, you can also do this. I want you to copy me, hold your hands out in front of you, like you're hypnotized. Good. And then point your thumbs towards the ground. Perfect. Loop your hands over and clasp your hands together. So basically you're holding your own hands and if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, your thumbs will probably automatically point to the ground. So as I look out in the audience, I see a lot of thumbs pointing to the ground, so that's good. And then copy me. Turn your thumbs to one side. If you can. <laughs> if you're really flexible, maybe you can point your thumbs all the way to one side. If you're super flexible, maybe you can point your thumbs towards the sky. All right, who's with me? Who's with me? Oh, no, no. Do not worry if that didn't work. I actually have two left hands. It's a, it's a wood shop accident. I don't want to talk about it. You are going to see some amazing things tonight. And if you see something you like, I want you to clap. In fact, go ahead and applaud right now. This is the fastest knot in the world with one hand, so do not blink. There it is. Yeah, it's a real knot. It's an overhand knot. I kind of, I tie a bunch of really special knots. Like, not only do I tie knots with one hand, but I can untie it by sliding it off the end of the rope. Yes. Do you not believe? Here, let me put it back on. Let me put it back on. Some of you are like, I don't think that's a real knot. It's a real knot. <laughs> now, there's other types of knots, too. Like when you're tying your shoelaces, you've got special knots, like bow knots. You pull on the end, it seems to disappear, which makes sense. But what happens if you tie a bow knot? And then the ends get tangled inside of the loops, and then you pull it really tight. This is what I call a nasty knot. Very difficult to untie. Then... There's single knots and double knots, and that's called a square knot. And then if these ends get put back through the ends, you get what technically is called a mess because it's a knot on top of another knot on top of another knot. And then my favorite type of knot is a knot that is not. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I also have a red rope, and I use different colored ropes for those of you who are hard of hearing. Now, your job, very simple. Keep one eye on the red rope, keep one eye on the white rope, and keep one eye on me. <laughs> okay, do not watch me. Just watch the knot. Faster than you can say Chick-fil-A, which is our presenting sponsor. I know, I know. Check it out. Something strange happens. It happened really fast. I hope no one blinked and missed it. Let's go back. Let's go back in time like five seconds when the knot was on the white rope. And then while well, you weren't blinking, so do not blink, it jumps under the red rope and everyone goes crazy. Now I know some of you are thinking, well, I would like to examine that rope because it looks fishy. Like maybe it's not a real knot. Maybe it's a magnetic knot that slides along the rope. That Wait a minute, did I just slide it from there to there? Yeah. But that's impossible because that knot isn't on the red rope. That knot is actually part no. of the red rope. 
and the applause is deafening. <sighs> hey, did I just mention that Chick-fil-A is one of the sponsors? Yes, and I was I was visiting with Justin, he's the owner, and he said, hey, it would be kind of cool if you had one of our trained chickens in your show. Did you know that Chick-fil-A has trained chickens? No. I didn't either. Well, I brought him with, his, his name is Sparky, Sparky the Chicken. He's been trained to perform card tricks, so I need to find someone who's ready to be part of the show. So if that's, oh man, it's so many, how about this? Uh, I'm going to find the quietest, most sitting down person like you. Come on down, let's give her a hand. And what is your name? Ariana. Ariana, you can stand right under the bucket of water. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Sparky's been trained to perform card tricks, and these are regular cards, just like you'd find at any magic shop. Oh, yeah, totally regular. <laughs> so pick one card. Wait, 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 wait. Ariana, do you want that or do you want to trade for a different one? Because that was, that was kind of like jumping out at you. It's up to you. No. You don't want to trade for one of these? They don't have anything no. on it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, they're, they're, totally re they're totally regular, you guys. So you want that one. I'm going to turn around, show it to everyone, and remember the card, but don't say it out loud. Just remember the number. Remember the color. Okay, did you all see it? Okay. It's a queen. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> it's going to be so easy. Okay, put your card back on. <laughs> it's a nine. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, how many s I'm going to shuffle the cards. How many seconds will you give me to find it? Uh, 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. Now, right now, I have no idea where the card is. You know, I've been shuffling the cards. I have totally no idea. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to... <laughs> I'll, cu I'll cut the card so I don't know. Okay, 20 seconds. Say, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Voila! Unbelievable! Yes! Wait, wait, wait. If that was your card, nod your head up and down. You guys, I got it. It's the Queen of Spades. <laughs> By the way, that was the weirdest delayed reaction ever. Because usually when it spins in the air and I catch it, people clap then. But you guys... Total poker faces. I thought I didn't get it, but I knew it was the Queen of Spades because of uh, the captain over here. So. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> and <laughs> Ariana, take the pen. I want you to sign your name on the card. You can use this like a table because it is a table. Now, while she's doing this, I want to mention this is permanent ink, so it's not going to smear off onto another card. Okay. A R Y. Uh, uh oh, you spelled it wrong. You spelled it with a Y instead of an I, Ariana. You spelled it wrong. No, I didn't. That's how you spelled it. Yeah. Okay. W wait a minute. Hold on. The only, the one other Ariana that I've met that spelled it with a Y, when she signed her name on the card, I put her card in my pocket as a prediction. Ariana. <gasps> <laughs> That's why I picked her. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, young man, can I borrow your hat? Your yes, I need to borrow your hat. Yeah, bring it up here. Cause, oh, you might think I'm gonna pull like a bunny or a trained chicken. No, no, I just want to get Ariana's card out of his hat. His car out of out of his borrowed hat. Thank you. Thanks for having that. And now I'm going to bring out Sparky, the trained chicken. So take your hands, mix the cards around the top of the table. Sparky has ESP. It's extra sensory pecking. Oh, and when he finds the card, he's going to get a reward. What do you think chickens like to eat as a reward? They love canned corn. This is his favorite. Okay, Sparky, come on out. Ta-da! Here he is, Sparky the chicken! <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. He's been trained to do card tricks. Now, hold your hand out. Let him smell your hand. <gasps> oh, I think he likes you. He does like you. He's walking up your arm. Ah! He was going for your ear. It's a good thing I stopped him. Oh, that was really foul. He didn't bite you, did he? No. Okay, it's because I stopped him in time. One time, I had a little... 
You better sit down because sometimes he pecks people. <laughs> One time I had a boy helping me and Sparky walked up his arm and bit his ear off. Yeah, only because he's a Tyson chicken. <laughs> Here, hold on to Sparky. Actually, according to Chick-fil-A training uh, standard operating procedures, I have to wear the training hat when I'm using Sparky. So you promise, promise you're not going to laugh at me, are you? Okay, word of honor is, uh, okay, because I've got to wear the training hat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to, it's, again, it's Chick-fil-A po policy. Okay, here you go, oh, you get the, you get that, I've got Sparky, he's going to walk around the cards, he's going to smell the cards, he's going to find Ariana's card, here he goes, okay, he's checking him out. Let's see. He's getting excited, he's like, checking him. <laughs> I don't even like that song. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, the chicks dig that. Like that. Okay, now he's tapping a card. This means that he... Can't believe I was wearing it. That's embarrassing. <laughs> he's tapping a card. This means he found the card. Do you remember what your card was? Yeah. What was it? Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades. And check it out. By magic, he changed it into the Four of Spades Magic Chicken. Yes. Yes. What? Sparky, no. I've got bad news. You're going to have to get the other position at Chick-fil-A. Oh, oh, sorry, Sparky. <laughs> Wait, shake the can. Shake it again. What do you think that sound might be? A card? Hey, can I borrow your hat real quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get this out of there. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even. It's got the pull tab. Okay, hold, hold, it's got it. I didn't know that. Oh, this is gonna be so corny. <laughs> okay, I'm about to open the sealed can. Now, Ariana, you're not afraid. Sometimes there are like spring snakes inside of containers. You're not afraid of those, are you? You are deathly afraid. Okay, then I'll do it in this direction. Oh, just a just a card folded up. Go and open that up. No way! It's the one. <laughs> Give her a hand. And for you, Ariana, you're going home with a poster of a world-famous magician! <laughs> that is for you, along with all this applause. Keep the card, it's got your name on it. Ah, you know what I need? I need to borrow a large denomination bill from someone in the audience, so if anyone has... <laughs> oh my... Oh, he's got his wallet ready to, oh, come on up here. It's, give him a hand. Whoa. What? Do you, have, do you have any dollar bills, like green ones that fold up and have the, a pre yes, you do. Oh, what's the largest one you have? Yes. What's your name? Saya. Saya, come on over here. Oh, it's kind of Japanese, but just a little. S-A-I-A? S-A-I, how do you spell it? S-E-I-Y-A, say up. Okay, I want you to take the pen and put your initials on it. Or you can put your name, whatever you want. But you're all witness to this. What Saya is doing right now, that's a permanent pen. This is illegal. This is, like, he's already going to get the cops. That's undercover. He's undercover. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going to go to jail or anything. Okay, so you just put a letter S. S for Saya. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to poke swords through your $5. I've yeah, you should make it $100. Should I, should I make it $100? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to change it into $100, and then you get to keep the $100. No, but without the S. Without the S. Okay. What's that? 
Okay, cool. Here we here we go. It's I'm gonna change the five into a hundred dollars. Oh, so actually I need hold on, I need it's gonna be kinda inconvenient. I need nineteen more people to let me borrow fives before I I, I mean I don't wanna lose money. Oh, you just want me to turn this into a hundred dollars? Okay. No, kids come back. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. I don't need nineteen more fives. I need a hundred dollar bill. So go back to your mom or dad, say, hey, he needs a No, I'm kidding, kids, come back, come back. This is <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay, all I have to do is snap my fingers. Okay, say it, check this out. Ooh, wait a minute. This isn't a hundred. It's not even a thousand. It's one million dollars. <laughs> Let's hear it for our newest millionaire. That's you. That's yours to keep. You can buy whatever you want. Is, that real? Is, it real? Is it real? I can't answer that question. Oh, he said the only reason it may not be real. It doesn't have a person. It has Donald Trump. No, no, it doesn't. It has the Statue of Liberty. It's the Statue of Liberty. So it's cool. I think it's cool. Yeah. Well, well here's the deal. For right now, I think you should keep. The million dollars. Now, later on, if you say, hey, I just want my one dollar back, let me know and I'll give you your one back. It was a five. <laughs> it was a five. Okay. All right, hey, give him a hand. Don't worry. We'll settle up later. Wait. Actually, we're about to travel back in time right now. 5,000 years to ancient Egypt. These are the cups of the pharaohs. Oh, very ancient. Are they expensive? These are not expensive. These are priceless because only three of these cups are known to exist in the entire world. And I have two of them. And the Smithsonian has one. but. <laughs> the, the main reason these are so valuable is because they're made from solid gold and then <laughs> no and then hand dipped in plastic which has preserved the gold throughout the millennium now this is kind of dangerous so I do need someone who's brave and responsible and wearing striped shirts with kind of like goldish and light white stripe oh my gosh you're there you're here come on give him a hand He's right there. What's your name? Xavier. Xavier. All right, I want you to hold onto the cups. Use two hands. Be very careful because we are about to perform the vanishing water trick. Now, later on, some of you, oh, if you're in the audience, please crisscross apple pie. Wait, did I say pie? Yeah. Crisscross Apple Jacks. No. I mean, <laughs> cider, apple cider, apple cider. No. Xavier, look, look in the bottle and tell everyone, is there really water inside? Yes, there's really water. And there's no hole drilled in the bottom? Make sure there's no hole, okay. And there's no sponge soaking the water up? Here's where the danger begins. This cup of water goes on top of your head. No. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to balance it. Just reach up with one hand and hold the cup on top of your head. Okay, good. You got oh, I'll do the same thing. Now, Xavier and I, we have a cup of water on top of our head. So we look kind of goofy. So it's a good thing that no one has a camera. Hey, wave to, wave to TC to media. There, there's, you'll be going to be on TV later. Nice. Okay, if you copy me, the trick will work. Slowly turn in a circle. Very slowly, this makes the water disappear by magic. Oh, I can almost feel the water beginning to disappear by magic. <sighs> did you drink it? No, he did not drink it. Not another word from you. Now, check it out. Check it out. All of my water is gone. Okay, we're going to we're going to do this democratically. We're going to take a vote. Should I or should I not? It's up to you guys. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, we're going to do it democratically, so only half of you should actually vote. Now, should I? Or should I? <laughs> yes, it's a miracle. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't drink your water, did you? You didn't dump it on the ground. This means, no, we've gone back in time. Excuse you. <laughs> you know, you guys are acting like a bunch of kids. Now just sit down and calm, calm down. Now, I'm having a conversation with Savior. <laughs> Let me see that. Okay, uh, what do you see in the bag? Nothing. Nothing. We've gone back in time, but not 5,000 years. Well, that wasn't water. It's sulfuric acid. <laughs> Here, put the cap inside. And then take your fingers and go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle over the bag. Good. Keep doing it. Keep. <gasps> you guys, we've traveled back in time to before the cap had been removed from the bottle. And before the water had been poured from inside. And the crowd goes wild. Go wild, you guys. <laughs> Savior, I've got something special for you. For you, a jumping magic wand. Hey, you guys, have a seat. I'm gonna show you how this works. Do you know this trick? So what you do is you wiggle your fingers and the wand begins walking out. Did you see that? It walks out of my hand. Ooh. Or if I snap my fingers, can you snap your fingers? If you can snap your fingers, it jumps out of your hand. Now, I'm going to teach all of you the secret because I actually sell these right after the magic show, but they don't have instructions, so here's the magic lesson. There's actually elastic cord that goes through both ends of the wand, and so to do the trick, yeah, you hold your fingers like scissors, pinch the little button like this, push the wand in your hand, make a fist around it so the, the elastic is right there. It's like spring-loaded right now, so when I slowly release pressure, it walks, but if you open your fingers, it jumps. And usually they're th they're uh, they're $5 after the show, but since you helped, $2.50. No, it's your guy. Come on, give him a hand. Thanks, Xavier. Do you guys like animals? Okay, then I won't do that one. <laughs> okay, of course I will. I have, but please check your legs. Crisscross applets and cutlets. Wait, 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 wait. Take a bunny out of the hat. Take a bunny out of the hat. I have little picture postcards of a bunch of different animals. Oh, I've got an idea. We're going to play the animal sound game, and you're going to have to make the sound of the animal that I show you. And to make it even more interesting, we're going to play kids versus grown ups. All right, kids versus grown ups. I'm going to show everyone. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, I'm going to have the adults go first, so adults only. Make the sound of the animal, and then I'm going to try and guess which animal it is. Kids, do not help the grown-ups. Don't give them a point. So grown-ups, make the sound of this animal if you can. <laughs> okay, I think I heard an oink, and then I heard someone say pig, so I think it's a pig. Okay, that's one point for the adults. You guys just help the grown-ups. Do not – yeah, don't help the grown-ups. Okay, kids, it's your turn now. Kids only make the sound of this uh, animal, and I will try and guess it. S is it a snake? Uh, it's not. S it's silence. I don't know that. Oh, it's a snail. Oh, that was a tough one. Don't feel bad, kids. I can't give you a point. Uh, it's it's one zero grown up. No, yo, I'll get. I'll give you another chance. Okay, grown ups, kids. Don't don't help the grown-ups. Grown-ups, make the sound of this animal if you can. Moo is an No, it's not an owl, it's a cow. Is it a cow? Yes, okay. Two points for the grown-ups. Now, kids, kids, we're gonna do double or nothing, so I'm gonna let you get a tie with the grown-ups if you guess this next animal. Kids, make the sound of the animal. Go ahead. can't say it. Oh, that's... I know the parents did not pay me. 
No, no. <laughs> okay, okay, adults, one more. Final one. Grown ups only. Grown ups only. Make the sound of the animal. Is it a B? It is three points. Kids, kids, triple or nothing, but you have to have a C. Okay, kids, last chance. Make the sound of the animal. Make the sound of the animal. <laughs> okay, I admit, okay, I'm sorry. That was really mean, that was really mean. I need to find someone who's really good at making the sounds of animals. Maybe someone who's seated crisscross applesauce. Yeah, I never pick kids who are standing up. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, right there. Yes, come on, Dan. And is your mom or dad here with you? Or aunt, where are they? Because we need, I need, your mom or dad should come up and help us. Do you know where they are? Oh, oh yeah, come on, give them my hand. And what's your name? I think it's right there. Yeah, but stay here, so he's, he's gonna join us. All right, come on over. What's your name? What is it? Ezekiah, I'm gonna have you stand right over here, and you are? Caleb. Caleb, thanks. Okay, so here's the deal. You're both gonna choose an animal, and I hope that they're gonna match. You're gonna choose matching animals, and I also made a prediction of a stuffed animal in this bag. So hopefully we're gonna have a three-way coincidence of your, no, it's not a German Shepherd, <laughs> of, of your animal and your animal and my stuffed animal. So as I shuffle the cards, say stop whenever you want. Okay. Now, don't say it out loud. This is going to be a secret. But put this right next to your tummy. Just remember what it is. And same thing as I'm shuffling, just say stop whenever you want. Okay. It's going to be yours. Okay. So do you both know what the name of your animal? Okay. On the count of three, you're going to say it out loud. I'm going to show you my stuffed animal. And we're going to have an amazing coincidence. One, two, three. Show your card. Yes. Yes, a giraffe. Show it to him. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes. Give them both a hand. Thank you. Oh, and I've got something for you, too. Thanks for helping. <laughs> what is it? It's a, it's a Z-Raph. Part, part zebra, part your... Giraffe, yeah. Or a Jebra. Part giraffe, part Jebra. Uh, the problem is he does eat a lot. He eats a lot. No, there was nothing else in the... Oh, my gosh. Uh, you guys, uh, cover your eyes. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> All right, kids, crisscross applesauce. I brought one of my favorite puzzles of all time. I'm gonna see if you guys can guess what it is. It's in this bag. You've probably all tried to solve this puzzle before and you, you are correct. It is a Rubik's Cube and I would like you to take the cube and mix it up, just randomize it. Does anyone here know how to solve a Rubik's Cube for real? Without taking it apart or moving the stickers? Really, you can? You can? If you think you can, you probably can't. It's actually really difficult to solve it. Yeah, to solve one side with enough practice, almost anyone can solve one side. Okay, thanks. This is now in a totally random, oh, maybe it's not random, because guess what? I actually recognize that pattern. <gasps> oh, I rec uh, get excited. I'm like recognizing these patterns because I have photographic memory. It's not fully developed, but it's, it's photographic. No, it, it is photographic. I'm going to attempt to set a new Guinness Book of World Records, and I need someone with a loud voice to be my official punch. Okay.
say, ready, set, go. You guys, it's a new Guinness Book of World Records! Yes! Oh, oh no! You oh. oh, we're gonna have to edit that video probably. Um, uh, okay, no, hold, no, no, I can still do it, but I'm gonna have to do it a little differently. I'm gonna attempt to solve it while blindfolded. But do me a favor, if you're up here, if you can have a seat, because there's other kids behind you that can't see when you stand up. Thanks. I'm gonna do it blindfolded. I'm actually gonna just put this paper bag over my head. Can you grab a seat for me? Thanks. Okay, when you're ready, just say, ready, set, go. Now, since I have photographic memory, since, know what? Know what? No, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Because I, I remember how I set it down on the table. There. See, I told you. I to what? Oh, no. I, I grabbed the wrong one. Why didn't you say something? Oh, no. Were you ever going to say anything? Oh. What? No. Is that the same? But wait, is that side the same? Yeah. And that side? Yeah. And that side? Yeah. And the top? Yeah. And the bottom? Yeah. It's a miracle. <laughs> hey, I need your help. Come on up here. No. Yes. <laughs> and what's your name? Caleb. Caleb, do you want to put your mask on? It's up to you. Now, I'm gonna assume that Caleb, you have never solved a cube. No, I tried, but y yes, I okay. Hard. Well then, I'm glad you got to do this because I want you to stand right here and hold your hands behind your back oh, and hold the cube, but don't twist it or anything. I'm gonna teach Caleb my secret seven step process to solving the Rubik's Cube. So start by holding it just in your right hand. Good. And then you're gonna turn it like this and grab it in your other hand. Good. And then you're going to turn it and grab it in the other hand. And then turn it and grab it. And then you're going to twist it and grab it. And then twist it again and grab it. And then, don't move, I just want to make sure. Oh my gosh, okay, good, good. Do the, okay, okay, and then twist it and grab it. And then do that same sequence three more times. Same sequence. Can you do it? Okay, okay, so, okay, so turn like that and grab it. Turn like that and grab it, and then do that just one more time. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Caleb, bring it around, bring it around. <laughs> no, it's, 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 I call this an unshuffleable cube because I've even tried to shuffle it. I can't mix it up either. So he just did, that was amazing. <laughs> so you can mix it up. <laughs> And for you, since you did something that no one else has done tonight. He's going home with his own magic DVD that teaches magic. That is for you, along with all this applause. Yes! <laughs> now, I may have misspoke because I said, oh yeah, have a seat so the kids behind you can see. I said that that was a miracle when he solved it, and it's not a miracle because if you go into YouTube, you can see a lot of guys and gals who will close their eyes or be legitimately blindfolded and will solve a cube. I saw one guy who juggled cubes and solved them in midair. So it can be done. Yeah, but I want to show you something that I don't think can possibly be done. I have a little, little treat bottle. Okay, so what you just saw was magic. This is going to be maybe a miracle. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> hey, yeah, stand up real quick. Actually, jump on up here. We got, yeah, I want to make this, everyone be able to see this. And what's your name? Bradley. Bradley, hold your hand like this. Here we go. I call it a miracle because there's no possible explanation for that. 
<laughs> even take the cork out, even taking the cork out, it won't come out of the cube. The jar changed shape and the cube grew a bit. Okay, stop it. Stop examining this. Hey, I realized earlier I borrowed five dollars from Saya. Saya, where are you? Oh yeah, right there. So I wanted to ask, what are you gonna buy with your money? A house. Okay, well, I, I want to show you guys what I'm doing with my money. Because remember, I can still pay you back, or if you want, you can just keep the million dollars. Do any of your moms or dads work for a bank or a credit union? Yeah? Okay, maybe um, don't let your mom or dad watch this then. I don't know if this is legal. It's the only reason I'm saying that. Help me. Count my money. 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 dollars. Now again, it, or if your mom or dad is like a police officer, maybe don't watch this. Don't let them see this. I don't know if this is legal. But oh, 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 oh man, you guys. I am rich. <laughs> Should I make it rain? Should I make it rain and Lacey? No, I can't. <laughs> Have a seat. You, I can't hand you a hundred dollars because it might burn a hole in your pocket. I mean, it's oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I got oh. Whoa, whoa, that's just too real. <laughs> Don't worry, you got. Have a seat. It wasn't real fire. It's just a yellow handkerchief and a fan. It's a yellow handkerchief that flops around in the fan. <laughs> For my almost grand final, oh yeah, yeah, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I brought one of the most dangerous things in Lacey right here to Hunnamer Park. What do you guys think is one of the most dangerous things in Lacey? A gun, monkeys, and fire. What? Oh, yes. Dynamite, those are all dangerous. But not half as dangerous. As this, this is an office quality paper cutter. <laughs> okay, it's actually just the newspaper and it's the Olympian newspaper. It's the editorial section, so it's not real sharp. Now, some of you have played one of my favorite games. It's called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Have you played Rock, Paper, Scissors? Yes. And you know how the scissors cut through the paper, but in actuality, the razor sharp edge of a single sheet, uh, a single pair of scissors, a, a single sheet of newspaper could easily cut through any pair of scissors. So I need to find someone, I need to find someone so brave they laugh at paper. And I picked the kids for crisscross applesauce. Oh, wait a minute. I see him. He's all the way back there. Come on down. Let's give him a hand. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. And what is your name? Kaz. Okay, Kaz, stand right over there and let everyone see your shirt because that is totally awesome. Hey, Kaz, do you know that guy over there? No. Oh, okay, Kaz, just wondered. <laughs> uh, does your hand fit in there? <gasps> Kaz, oh my gosh, you're so brave. Don't move your hand. No one's ever been this brave before. Okay, okay, good. Okay, now don't move your hand. This is going to happen. On the count of three, I'm going to put a little tiny paper cut on the back of Kaz's hand. Now, kids, do not worry. It's not like his hand is going to be walking into the audience. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't. It, it might drop into this handbag, but that's that's what it's there for. 
Now, I don't own this stage. There's a lot of other entertainment that happens. And I promised Jeanette with the City of Lacey that nothing bad would get on the stage. So I'm just going to slip that under there. Absorb anything. <laughs> Whoa, don't look down. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Kaz, um, do you know the woman right there? Taking oh, that's your mom? Okay, cool. I... Um, let me fix your hair so you look good on the video. Just look back there, and I'm going to put some hair gel on your hair. Ah, yes. Yep. Way better. Way better. <laughs> all right. Just kind of relax. Kind of relax your hand. Okay, on the count of three. Don't worry. It's going to come off all right. <laughs> okay, bad choice of words. Uh, on the count of three. Uh, ah! Oh no, Cass! Don't move your hand. Oh no, it's bleeding a lot. Oh, this is disgusting. Please sit down. Sit down, you guys. I've got it all under control. Cass, look. Look, Cass. Oh no, look. It's yesterday's paper. It's already been read. Okay. No, it's okay. Ah! Oh, no. Hurry, hand it to me. Hand it to me. <laughs> Give him a hand! Oh, man! Woo. That was... It was fake? Of course it was fake! Now, please, kids, I've done it two ways. Sometimes I actually cut their hand off, and sometimes I fake cut their hand off. And par nine out of ten parents prefer it when I do the fake cutting their hand off. So trust me, nine out of ten parents. <laughs> Okay, please, um, before I call security, please head back. <laughs> hey, Kaz, have you seen one of these before? You've never, oh, Kaz. Hey, Kaz, walk over here. This is really fun. So this is called a finger trap, and come over here. So you hold your, fi hold your fingers like this. <laughs> Good, and so here's what you, this is what you do to your friend. You put their finger in one side, and then you find something. Oh, kids, can you guys stay off the stage, please? <laughs> so you have your friend put their finger in one side, and then Kaz, walk over here. And then you have your friend put their arms around like a little tree or a flagpole. Nice. Oh, that is so much fun. We'll come back for you tomorrow. We'll be back, back for you tomorrow. <laughs> here, elbow bump, and have a seat. All right. Here, you can follow Jeanette if you want. Okay, cool. Isn't that great? Oh, that is so good. Oh, sorry, Kaz. So anyway, to get out of them, you push your fingers in. And then you get a friend to help you, and then you're safe. Do you have a brother or sister? Oh, because it's really funny on brothers or sisters. <laughs> That's for you to keep. Eh? Give him a hand. Thanks, Kaz. You guys, this is just about the end of the show, but I realized that I never paid Saya back, and you you probably want your dollar $5 back. What is your favorite fruit or vegetable in the entire world? Or actually, say it. Come on up here. Come on up here. Give him a hand. He's been very patiently waiting. Watermelon. I heard that. Oh, you didn't say it. That was someone else. Here, come on over. This is my 3D sketch pad. So you could have a pear or... Okay, so I have a bunch of fruits and vegetables, even some I didn't show you. Now, of all the ones that I have pictures of, which one do you want to have right now? An orange? Okay, you guys, he said orange. I actually... Uh, yeah, you did. I, I could read your lips. He said orange. I'm wearing a mask. That's true. Okay, um... <laughs> Well, say, it has to be one of these that I have a picture of, so it's like a totally free choice of any of these. Okay, he changed his mind. He said he'll take an orange. Now, <laughs> he didn't actually say that. I read his lips say that. <laughs> does it feel plastic or does it feel real? It feels plastic. What? <laughs> He said it feels real. I could read his lips moving. Now, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Silence. I have a frosting spreader. Be careful what you say. I'm going to cut this open. Ooh. 
Oh, wait, it's still green in the middle. I don't want to touch that. You should open it. <laughs> wait, wait, say it here. Stand up. Stand up. Here, put these back in your wallet and open this. Growing inside of the orange for nine months. It's a five dollars with his initials on it. And keep the million. Buy something nice. You guys, that is just about the end of the show. But before I leave, I wanted to show you my latest hobby. I've been learning. I've been doing origami with invisible scissors. So check it out. Origami with invisible scissors. You guys were awesome. My name's Jeff Evans saying thanks and goodbye. That's the end. Please give Jeanette Sealer and the Lacey Parks Department and the City of Lacey a huge round of applause. Thanks a lot for coming out to the show. Yes, and thanks again to Jeff Evans and his amazing show.